Hi guys, so this video is pretty long overdue, um, but I promise to show you a way of uh, better organising your tabs in Firefox. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the only browser that actually supports this, and it's known as tab grouping. Um, so instead of me sitting here babbling, what the best thing to do is if I just show you what you can do. So I've got the Google uh, home page open on one tab, so let's just open up a few others. I never ever visit Yahoo, but never mind. <laughs> it's the first thing that sprung to mind. Let's open CNN. Uh, what else can we open? Warrior Forum. Um, using articles, possibly. Right, okay, so we've now got uh, one, two, three, four, five, we've got six tabs open. Now, at the moment, that's pretty manageable. Um, so, but what if you're like me and you have the need or the obsession to have maybe, let's say, a hundred tabs open at the same time? Now, that might sound ridiculous. Uh, in most cases, it kind of is ridiculous, but you know, you know what it's like with internet marketing. Um, you can have the requirement to have a lot of tabs open for different uh, groups, different niches, uh, different article sites, whatever it happens to be. So what you can do is if you look at the top right of Firefox, you see this little icon here, and it says group your tabs. Now you can click on that, and it'll open up this window here, and at the moment you've got this one light blue window with all your tabs in it just now. Now what you can do is if you go to the top you can name this tab, let's just call this general, but what you can do is if you drag one of your windows out into the blue area it creates a new tab group. So we can call this one internet marketing for example. So Warrior Forum would fall under that same category, so we can drag that one in here too. And as you can see, it shifts over to make room. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, you can have as many of these as you want, so let's drag CNN out as well. Let me call this News. One more, I'll drag Google out. I'll just call it Search Engines for argument's sake. Put Yahoo across there as well. And I suppose the only one that's left now is Easy in Articles, so we could call this one Article Directories. So I've obviously just done that on the fly. Um, what you can end up with is, now this is my work area, so I've got my social sites, my selling, member training, business, internet marketing training, all these kind of things are grouped together. So if I need to, uh, maybe I'm looking at my Aweber list and I want to switch over and have a look at, uh, let's say, a product review that I'm working on, I can switch into the product reviews box and then I've got all my tabs open for that area as well. So. It keeps things better organised, obviously. Um, it's a lot faster to switch from one task to another when you've completed one task, instead of having to open up a new tab and log back in and all that nonsense. It's all saved on your system under the, the tab groups. One thing I might want to point out, though, is depending on the specification of your machine, um, you might find that, obviously, the more tabs you've got open, the more resources the system is using. So um, if you're using a, an older machine uh, or a, a, a machine that's got uh, you know, a, a low amount of memory on it, um, you're obviously going to have a limitation to how many tabs you can have open. So there you go. A nice easy way to keep your tabs arranged uh, when you're having to work with a lot of uh, information within Firefox. Okay, cheers.